It's so it's the, recording uh, now? Each city's Republicans, which is like Florence and uh, and you'll know it's recording because it has to well. stop with. Nope. I'll, I'll go over okay. that. All right. okay. It's okay. You can be a little so, confusing. So, you know, please welcome him. You can be critical. You can be, um, you know, confront him if you think he's wrong, but be respectful, okay? So there you go. All Thanks right. a lot. Okay, thank you, Dr. Powelson. Sounds really good. All right, so good evening, everybody. Yes, my name is Arthur Shopper. I am the president of the Beach Cities Republicans. Uh, the reason why, it seems like the South Bay doesn't get a lot of attention. It's, it's a pretty moderate area. Um, I don't know how far back the history class goes. Uh, we had a congressman named uh, Alfonso Bell. Bel Air, Bell Gardens, Bell is named after him, actually. I don't know why he's living in the South Bay and there's all these Southeast areas named after him, but that's what's happened. Um, then we had another congressman, his name was uh, Bob Dornan. Anybody Ooh. ever heard of Bob Dornan? He was called B1 Bob. He loved to call other colleagues names. He called women spirit throwers. He said to another guy, shut up, fag. Very, very provocative congressman. And he was also, it was hard for him to hold on to his seat. They ended up gerrymandering him out. And then he went to Orange County. That's another story. So South Bay has some interesting history to it. I actually had my first Republican assemblyman in 22 years, David Hadley. Uh, so that's so about as far as Democrat. It's, uh, yeah, it's now a 10 point Dem now. Okay. It was 8 point Dem. So we have a registration problem ultimately. So that's who I am. I work, I'm the president of the Beach Cities Republicans. It's from Palos Verdes to Manhattan Beach to Gardena to San Pedro. Uh, let me ask, let me start with a question. So I, I'm not going to ask whether you voted for Trump or not, but let me ask you this. How many of you supported Bernie Sanders? Bernie Sanders. Okay. Uh, Hillary Clinton? Okay, well, I mean, we're talking primaries, so let me help you out there. Did anybody support anybody else in the primary period? Gary Johnson, Jill Stein, Jill Stein was running as a primary candidate, too. Okay, so mostly Bernie I think supporters. I voted for Jill Stein. You voted for Jill? Yeah. Okay. So, I like to always start with that. I was in Long Beach yesterday at Alan Lowenthal's town hall, and I, the first two things I talked about was I support our police, everybody agreed with me on that, and when I said corporations shouldn't be getting handouts for the government. If they don't balance their budgets, they should go both. They should go broke. You and me should be paying for it. A lot of people agree with that. So that I seems agree. to be like a Bernie and a Trump thing. There's an agreement there. How many of you know about the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership? Okay, so we got one person, yeah, I know. That, and you do too. So Trump, Bernie Sanders, both opposed to it because it would give a lot of power to corporations and it would take it away from you and me. I was really opposed to that for that reason. So there's that. Second group I'm, I'm part of is called We the People Rising. We're a pro-immigration enforcement group. So we've got Mike here, Janet, and this is Robert. So we're in different parts of Southern California. We go, we hold all elected officials accountable. I go after Republicans, even though I'm the president of a Republican club. They don't get off easy with me. I went after my own assemblyman for one vote he took. So I want to be very clear about that. This isn't just some lockstep Republican you're talking to. I'm a conservative, as he mentioned. So there's that. There's another group I'm a member of. It's called the Remembrance Project. I will go into this shirt in greater detail in a few minutes. Right here, we commemorate the lives of loved ones, Americans who've been killed by illegal aliens. Okay, this by is illegal movie. aliens. That's correct. Yeah. Illegal. Yeah. Illegal aliens. What about right. I'll get native that. borns? Okay, let me go. Okay. Excuse me. Sure. Yeah, I'm interrupt you, so please don't interrupt me. Thank you. You guys are really respectful already. I appreciate that. So. You're going to be pretty surprised, you know, I was not a Trump supporter initially. I was actually a Scott Walker supporter. Uh, I think it's good. You're probably going to be hearing from somebody who has very distinct views from you. I don't mind. I love being able to clash with people who distinguish their views from mine in great ways. Scott Walker had beat down big labor in Wisconsin. That was the progressive heart of the country. And you have a Republican who's able to corral his colleagues to stop collective bargaining or to at least give people a choice to make sure that teachers are properly represented, et cetera. He was my guy. Wisconsin was a blue state. And if you saw with election 2016, it's a red state now. And it's Walker who did that. He was my first choice. And he flamed out as soon as he announced. It was pretty disheartening. I mean, I'd never been so invested in a candidate like Walker. He's gone. So then there was Jindal, Bobby Jindal. Do any of these names ring a bell? Bobby Jindal, Scott Walker. Jindal is the governor of Louisiana. Absolutely. So. What is it? Yes. He's in, he's in. Yes, yes, that's correct. Thank you. That's fine. So I wanted a governor first. I wanted somebody I could trust to be a leader, someone who had been a governor of a state. And he flamed out, too. I mean, he didn't even make it to the guy who you know, caucuses. He was done. So I was a hardcore Cruz supporter. And I've got friends of mine probably will, will be watching this. And they love to, they would love to tease me because they would say, well, he's from Canada. He's ineligible, whatever. I have a friend of mine who would say to me, you know, we the Canadians rising every time that he went to speak at a podium. 
Cruz was my long-term support. This is a guy who had stood his ground. He was able to call up the majority leader. You don't call the majority leader of the US Senate a liar and expect to get away with it, but he did. This is the same guy who helped lead the shutdown in 2013. By the way, the Democrats shut it down. Harry Reid sat down on every single spending bill. I like this guy. He was courageous. But there was a problem that I couldn't get away from, which is that he talked over people way too much. He would use four syllables when all you needed was one, and that was a real problem. You're not going to reach the voters that Republicans needed to reach in order to win. And that was working class people, white voters, the voters who make up most of the population in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, those same states, a Republican won for the first time in 30 years. You know, and I, that's one of the reasons why I was warm to Trump. Even if he wasn't my first choice, I dragged my feet. Some of my friends used to joke with me, when Walker dropped out, I needed a therapy dog. When Cruz <laughs> dropped out, I was on suicide watch. I was terrified. Because I thought, Trump, either he wins and he will not do anything that I expect him to, because he would say one thing or the, another during the debates, or he would win, or he wouldn't win and we'd be stuck with crooked Hillary. And that, to me, was like a devastating outcome. I mean, we had eight years of Obama. I cried in 2012. I never cried after an election defeat before, when Romney lost, because I thought he was going to win. Okay, and when I heard Fox News, Fox News declaring that Obama had won Ohio in 2012, I said, oh my god, it's over. And it was pretty fast. So, and just, just a little word, there is media bias. It was so distinct. You can see it on election night in 2016. They refused to call Ohio or Florida. I mean, you could hammer it three times over three hours. It was clear that Trump had more votes. And they were waiting on it. And they would not give Trump Michigan until, what was it, early December. What's going on? It was really clear. They even had, they even did voter fraud checks. There was voter fraud, all right. It was in Detroit, where they were disenfranchising black voters, where there were more Democratic voters than there should have been. So if there was voter fraud, it was helping Hillary, not, 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 her, not uh, helping Trump. So there's that. So. Even before I was willing to get on the Trump train, I supported Donald Trump, or I liked a lot of things about him. I liked that he was very candid. He was not politically correct. I think we've had eight years of it, and it was hurting our country. Even if we don't agree on stuff, we should at least feel free to talk about it. I felt like the eight years of Obama, that freedom of speech had been so curtailed. I mean, we just went by a sign coming here to the college, you know, it said free speech zone. I hope that sign speaks to the entire campus. Because I know of some really. places, does it? Well, that's a real problem. The entire world, you mean? Or the I think the entire whole country. Be a free speech zone, don't you think? I, would, I do. I would think so. And that's the thing about Trump. It's, it's very difficult to even get a room on this campus to have a well, meeting. Well, here I am. So let, let the games begin. I'm glad I'm here. Okay, so you've got the hardcore Trump supporter. I was very much a new convert, though, I'll tell you. So I absolutely agree with his views on immigration. Absolutely. In fact, in some ways, because he wavered, it's because I thought he was getting weaker on immigration. Yes, I want a secure border. Yes, I want a wall. If there's going to be a door, it should be very clear, coming legally. I want to verify. I want welfare reform. I do not support amnesty. I don't support pathway to citizenship. When I talk about dreamers, I always talk about Americans. Those are the only dreamers. Now let me go back, let me go back to Reuben Morphine. This is one of the reasons why. 